Yeah, we're down here today at Silverstone on a, on a windy and blustery day, but dry day running uh, the old uh, 2019 RB15 and of course the all new uh, 2021 RB16B. It's always great to see uh, you know, a new car hit the track for the first time. So we've been lucky with the weather here at Silverstone today, a bit of wind, but, uh, but dry conditions. So you know, Sergio's first uh, experience of the car, you know, Max also getting to uh, do a few laps so mainly it's about making sure that all the basics are functioning okay and uh, you know before it all gets packed up and sent to Bahrain. Well the carb due to the regulations is very much a carryover so the chassis is the same chassis that was used in Abu Dhabi for example but um, you know of course all the periphery bits uh, a lot of those get revisited and changed so uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's an update, uh, an extensive update, I would say, hence the name 16B rather than uh, being a, a, an all new car. So, uh, uh, you know, obviously there's, there's systems checks. It's a new engine from Honda on their side as well. So they, that's where the main focus is. You get some initial, you know, feelings. So, but it's difficult in these conditions, you know, this temperature, but uh, you know, obviously you'll get you'll get something, uh, you know, from it. He'll have a, a reference point from when he last drove the car. So uh, uh, it's a bit of information. You're always learning in Formula One. So uh, any lap that you do, there's always something to learn. Even though it's a filming day, it's uh, it's great for the drivers to be able to jump into what was the old car from a couple of years ago and reference that against you know RB16B. So uh, it blows away their cobwebs and also gives them a, a brief experience of their car for the season. I think for Checo, after having driven for one team for so long, 
inevitably there's going to be quite a lot of differences, even just in procedure to the way that we operate. So any mileage that we've been able to give him is of huge value as he gets to know his new engineering team, how the mechanics works, how, how our meetings work, what's required of him as a Red Bull driver. So uh, I think it's been invaluable these last couple of days for him. I think he's settling in very well. I mean, obviously he's been around for a while. Um, he's a popular member in the paddock and I think that, uh, you know, you can see why. He's an easy guy to get along with. Um, you know, he's doing all his homework. He's been working hard over the winter. He's really grabbing this opportunity with both hands. It's good to see you know, the two drivers and also Alex here as well, working with the two drivers. So you know, that's such an important part of the team so, uh, and the dynamic of the team as we, as we develop this car. It's important for Alex to, to keep sharp. That's why we're giving him laps in the RB15 uh, today, just to keep his hand in. He's going to be playing a crucial role in the development behind the scenes with RB16B and supporting the two race drivers, as well as tire testing later in the year for, for the new tire regulations in 2022. So, you know, it's great to have him here and passing on his knowledge, you know, as well to, uh, to Checo and, and uh, working with the two drivers. It was great to get the, uh, the, the Honda agreement, you know, through after the freeze was voted through, thankfully supported, you know, gratefully by the other teams, the FIA and the commercial rights holder. So, you know, that enables us to fully focus on Honda's last year you know, in Formula One to try and do the very best that we can, whilst behind the scenes gearing up, um, obviously, to uh, take on the challenge of the power unit and the operation of the power unit from 2022 onwards. So much to learn, so much to experience. Uh, and just looking at my name, you know, on that car is, is something very special. Uh, driving the, the new car, the car that we're going to drive this season, it's always a very special moment for all the team. Uh, you know, they've been working so hard all throughout the year, you know, and uh, through this, the winter. So to finally uh, go on track with that car, it's uh, quite an emotional day. And we're looking so much forward to, to it. And uh, to say that I, I can see the potential of it. Very pleased. I, I was extremely pleased to come from uh, RB15, already have a reference of how a, car, a Red Bull car feels and jumping into into my car, you know, the car that I'm going to be driving this year. It's uh, it's incredible. I mean, conditions are not great out there, but it's, it's just nice, you know, to get a bit of on board, a bit of uh, comfortable uh, feeling with the pedals, with the, with the brakes, with the, all the new stuff that I'm going through. So pretty excited. I think uh, I can just feel a, a step in, in overall grip at all speeds. Um, I could already feel that. I uh, haven't done a lot, uh, you know, but uh, I can already see that the, the car has good potential. I think it's just to get me comfortable, comfortable in the car, so when we go to Bahrain, it's not something that we have to, to be concerned. You know, it, it takes a lot of time to, to be 100% comfortable, and I, I expect myself to be doing changes in the first five races of getting very comfortable with the, with the car. But um, I have to say that we've done a lot of progress on that. We've changed the seat. Uh, we have just uh, belts. Uh, every time we, we're doing something different. So that's that's priority to, to get me comfortable with it. So when we go to Bahrain, we, we're ready to kick some ass. Yeah, Max is a great talent. Can really wait to, to start working with him together. I think um, you can see that he's so natural. Uh, in, in his talent and uh, uh, he technically he's very strong as well so so yeah just looking forward to get the car up there and, and, uh, and start fighting to, to get as many points as possible for the team I think the goal is to win uh, it's obviously a process to, to it we have to get on top and hopefully the car is good enough for that but uh, we have to wait and see you know uh, Mercedes had a good advantage on the team uh, last last few years, so hopefully this this season we are able to close the gap and, and give them a hard time. I'm looking forward massively to get people back, you know, to basically to get to a normal life as, as soon as possible, as soon as it's safe for everybody, and and just get the fans, the atmosphere back into the Grand Prix. Uh, that will be something very special when that happens. You know, I don't know when when that will happen, but I have to say that that's 
the one I'm looking the most forward to. Uh, obviously, to be back in my country with, with my people. And uh, I think it's going to be very emotional, you know, once we have people uh, on the grand sense and it will be something that we will appreciate more than in the past. I am very much looking forward to be in Mexico. I think uh, this is uh, our national drink. Uh, Red Bull, right now, we, we're forgetting about the tequila side of it. Uh, Mexicans are very enthusiastic and, and they really love uh, the team and they are all behind us. So, yeah, I look forward to, to be in Mexico and, and win the race for them. The off-season, uh, initially, you know, I took a bit of a break, spent a bit of time with family and friends, of course, um, to catch up with them after such a tough, long, like, well, long, short season in a way, of course, with all the races in such a short time, time space. And uh, from there on, back, back in Monaco, just training, to be honest, and, and being at home, not uh, really exciting stuff. Um, I guess as uh, everyone else, but um, it's of course necessary. Yeah, I'm always excited, of course, for the race weekends. Uh, but of course, first we have to do the testing, uh, the three test days in, in Bahrain. Um, so it's just going to be important to get a lot of miles on on the car, get comfortable yourself with the car. So you you try and yeah start the, the first weekend as best prepared as you can be. Yeah, it's going to be uh, quite short. You know, one and a half days each for the drivers, but uh, I like it. I, I thought, you know, six days was a lot and it was pretty boring because there's no real excitement. I mean, I love driving Formula 1 cars, but there's not the competition feeling yet, you know, so I'm fine with one and a half days. Of course, I hope that those one and a half days I have are going to be run smoothly with no, not too many issues, you know, so um, I think that's the most important, but it's, it's going to be fine. Yes, yeah, so of course, today was a, was a filming day. Um, initially, I started in the RB15 to, to just get into it again um, after the break, get a few laps in, get comfortable. And then, uh, of course, you jump into the RB16B. And uh, of course, it's a new car. So you just, again, get comfortable with the car around you, with the engine as well, and try to make things uh, run very smoothly and, and try to be the best prepared you can be to go to the testing in Bahrain. Of course, there are differences. I mean, already the big changes, of course, the floor, they, they cut it a lot on, on the rear. Um, so the car is always going to behave a bit differently. Um, but it's not, uh, you know, about setup work or whatever. It's just about getting comfortable with the car, get a basic understanding of the car. And uh, then all the work has to be done anyway in Bahrain. It's a lot of races, 23. So, um, yeah, let's see how, how it goes. Of course, I hope that the... The calendar will be run as normal uh, and not as compressed as last year. Um, but of course, we knew that had to be done, but uh, it's not ideal. So let's see uh, yeah, how, how the season progresses. When you're getting close and then you know, the hype is, is building up, I mean, then uh, it's going uh, to be really nice. And I hope, of course, that the fans can come to the track and uh, there will be a lot of orange around. To be honest, at the end of the day, um, it's all about just giving your feedback and try to work together as good as you can. And Sergio has been in F1 now for a while, so I think he has proven himself that uh, you know he's a good point scorer. And uh, I hope that as a team, you know, we can uh, make it difficult for for Mercedes, especially because I think they still are the favourites. So um, yeah, I just hope as a team and, and together with with Sergio, we can score those points. Well, it's exciting, of course, for the whole team. Um, but I think at the moment we just focus on, on the season ahead and, and try to make that work in the best way possible, uh, together with Honda, of course. And then uh, what happens in the future, of course, is still a question mark. But um, one thing I know for sure is that everyone is going to give their best and, and we'll be uh, pushing flat out, to, of course, to, uh, to, make it, to make it work. It's always good to be back in the car. I mean, I like a break, but then also once you're standing here, you see the car. You know, ready to go. Then um, you know it's itchy to get back in, and then especially a full one car, the first time you go out of the pits, it's, it's always such a nice uh, feeling. And um, I'm just looking forward to you know the race weekends again, especially like a Sunday. That's the most exciting part. We're at Silverstone, uh, a nice windy Silverstone. Um, driving for me at least the the RB15 uh, last year's two years ago car, um, whilst the uh, the new one's getting shaped now. Being back at Silverstone, obviously the circuit's amazing. Um, the cars really feel good around here. We're doing a short circuit, so you don't quite get that Maggots Beckett's feeling. Um, but any day in a Formula One car is a good day. When you when you come to a filming day, uh, obviously the priorities are a little bit different. It's more about the mileage for the team, getting everything, um, making sure everything's working as it should. 
and of course getting the, the cobwebs off us. So uh, yeah, I mean, no one ended it up in the wall, so that's, uh, that's positive. So RB16B is kind of been my winter project a little bit. Um, doing a lot of stuff with the sim. Um, of course, last year's car had its, uh, had its difficulties and um, just kind of ironing them out, making sure uh, we can hit the floor running uh, this year. So yeah, it's been, it's been nice to see it translate. And I know even a lot of stuff we've done has already made it onto the car before we've driven. So it just shows all the hard work we've done is, is paying off. Firstly, when you're when you're doing when you're when you're driving the new car, is is understanding what to improve on the old ones. So a lot of it is kind of going back in time a little bit and trying to to find the key areas we need to improve on on last year's car. Then we kind of have all these different things we want to try. These sometimes wild, impossible things you can do in real life, generate fake circumstances. Uh, see if it actually improves the car or not, and then chase down them avenues. Um, and that's something we did with, with this year's car, uh, and it all seems to be going to plan. Today, it's understanding, the, let's say, the personality of the RB16B. Um, on my side, listening to the engineers, to the drivers, on their feedback, um, so I can take it back to Milton Keynes and, and work on, on that side of the car. And, uh, and again, just some fitness, keeping my eyes shut, because obviously, I am a reserve driver for, for Alfa Tori and for Red Bull, so it's always good to, to stay sharp, get fit, um, and yeah, and, and have some fun. I'll be going to pretty much every race now, um, flyaways and, and European races. A lot of trackside support on sim later, but also um, just being there, obviously, with COVID sticking around, you always have to play it safe on, in some regards. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm here, I'm fit, I'm, I'm ready to take anyone's place if they need be, so uh, yeah.